He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over me. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The earth is the Lord. The fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? And the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me, eat up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord. That will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Yes. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up on a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou sayest, seek my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in the plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen against me. And such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. And be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, 
on the Lord. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven, the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. <coughs> and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of the heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a voice, a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that he is a thirst of the fountain, the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second day. And there came unto me of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of the seven plagues and talked with me saying, come hither I will show thee the bride land wife Amen. Come on, let us say amen. amen. Come on, somebody say amen. 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 We're here today to celebrate a good friend and brother of mine. I'm sure you guys already, those of you that are here, were familiar with this man. Amen, somebody. Amen. amen. But let me set let me set a few things in order right quick. Uh, we only have a short time to be in here, so if you're on the program, we uh, ask that you would be mindful of the time. Amen. Don't take all day. Elbow your neighbor said, don't take all day. Don't take all day. 
Amen. I'm sure we could take up a lot of time talking about, uh, can I call him Slim? Amen. Amen. I knew him as Slim. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We're so glad to be here. Certainly to the family, thank you for allowing us to be here and share with you all today. I'm going to read off the order of service. Amen. And if your name is on here, somebody say, get ready, get ready, get ready. We're going to have scripture reading by uh, Pastor Danny Mitchell, senior from Walls Chapel, Church of God in Christ in Memphis, Tennessee. Then there'll be a musical selection by Charles Campbell, Carlton Johnson and Friends. And then this part right here, Reflections, that part, it says three minutes, please. Amen. If you see me get up, you done went past two and a half. Amen. 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 And if you got a cell phone or a beeper, you still got a pager, turn it off or put it on silent. Amen. Amen. If somebody needs to get in touch with you, I'm sure they can wait till this is over with. Amen. Amen. And if God wants to get in touch with you, I'm sure he knows how to get in touch with you. Somebody say amen. 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 We go in that order and then we'll be back. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord another hand of praise for the celebration of life. Brother James Jackson on today. Danny Mitchell here? Yes, sir. Come on, Dr. Mitchell. Don't give him a hand as he comes. God bless you. Bless the family, man. Now, everybody that come here for a funeral, I want to disappoint you. I come here for a celebration. I'm celebrating the life that he occupied before he left here. Uh, I won't, if you say you don't want to be too long. You all right, brother. You all right. In other words, uh, I'll never forget the last telephone call we had that we talked to James while he was in the hospital. And all he could do was just praise the Lord. Just, I, could, I, could, I could feel him on the phone raising his hands, giving God the glory. So this is not just a funeral, but this is a celebration. Right. Amen. We saying the saints in the house and the church people, give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. We're going to celebrate. Oh, that's what he did with us on the phone, my wife and I. And I thank God for him. I thank God for the life that he left here with. Amen. 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 The scripture reading for this time would be from Psalms 100. And this is what I compel you all to do, if you will. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the, know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and unto the, his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Yes. For the Lord is good. His mercy is, in, is, in, is everlasting yeah. and his truth endureth to all generations. Yes, so I, all I say is I know emotions, nothing wrong with emotions. Jesus showed emotions at, at, at the death of Lazarus, but he wasn't hung there. Because he said he was only sleeping. So James is just only sleeping. He's getting his rest now. Yes, sir. So we're going to celebrate his life and, the, and his resting place. And we'll thank God and bless his holy name. Yes. Give God another hand clap of praise. Amen. And God bless you. in love with 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah in the house. Yeah. Hallelujah in the house. Yeah. I know Pops was quiet, but we ain't supposed to be quiet now. Amen. Somebody say, Yeah. Yeah. My name is Zeta. Yeah. That's my Pops. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. Amen. He played for me, the King Beast played for my. My daddy, my blood daddy's homeborn. Jonah, Solomon, Pops. I don't know if they have you there or not. You know, you be in Tough crowd, Mom. Well, he took over as my Pops. Boy, we rode so many times on the road together because I can't, I don't drive anymore. I was a I'm a United States uh, Army veteran, and I have uh, disabilities that I can't drive. So, I, although I could perform, he would come and pick me up and take me everywhere. And I love it. I love it with all my heart. He get on me, cause I'd be a bad girl sometimes, y'all. Right. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> All right. Lord. All right. Lord. Man. I'd be a bad girl. Oh, yeah. And I ain't got one of one. Yeah. And he'd get on me, and oh, I would hate for him to get into me. <clears throat> but he was telling me the truth. And I was I would talk to him and, and sometimes I'd be hungry. And he'd come pick me up and take me to get something to eat. I'm going to miss him. All right. It ain't nothing like a stranger becoming your friend and loving you like a daddy. And that's what he did. And mama, they took me in. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Let's thank God for this day. Yet, it's yet a good day. I say it's yet a good day. You know, we weeping, we hurt, but I just want you all to listen, my brother James. We go back a long ways. I mean, a long ways. We just a year and four months, maybe something like in our age. And you know, we got a long journey, a lot of history. But I just thank God for this day. And I just like to say, you know, uh, during the, uh, the time that uh, in and out, my brother, like I said, he won't have to have old pains and things going in and out of the hospital anymore. Okay. So he always told me, you know, he said, God got me. God got me. You know, even with the nurses, he would tell me, y'all leave me alone. God got me. You know, he said, God got me. When God got you, <laughs> you know, you got it. You got it. So I just thank the Lord on the last, but I think about two weeks ago, it was the week before he passed, I said, I made a special trip up here. You know, we always did, he, he always called me coach. Oh, here come coach. <laughs> and I, uh, I said, yeah, I walked in the hospital room, I said, I come and see he had you back for you. <laughs> he looked at me and said, he sort of gave me a little smirk smile like he do. I said, you don't back for it? He said, no. Yeah. Solemn, slow voice. I said, so you still holding on? I said, I'm talking about holding on to the Lord. He said, yes. <laughs> he gave me that smile. And his wife said, you know you made his day. He said, you made my day. I just thank God for those last moments. He was yet holding on. Yeah. I said, he was yet holding on. He's sleeping now, you know. But I just thank God for that. I just want to share it. You know, that was the last time we spent some time together. You say he was yet holding on. Good morning to you people. I'm James Stewart. I've been with James Jackson 50 plus years or more. I met James Jackson from nine years old, playing gospel, Southern Harmonic. When I last spoke to James, 
He told me, oh, he called me old. He said, old about him got saved. That's a game he know what he told me. If you haven't been playing blues, you've been a minister. This man here, he had another young friend, he going on. I think that was the closest he had, other than some of us that did the band member, Mad Two Sheep. That man went to his grave talking about Mad Two Sheep. He, he, he said he never played for anybody that he was as, as proud of. He said, I could catch his voice, I could catch his movements. He said, we started young old. And when he left there, I remember B.B. King, before he went with them, he was with Albert King. And a bunch more of them, B.B., on and on. But I think his biggest fan was when Coco Taylor would request him when she come to Memphis to play. I believe you know what I'm talking about. All right. I remember this young man was playing drum. All right, yes, sir. Yeah. Charles Camel with the ghetto band. <laughs> oh, I know everybody up here. But anyway, Jane will have a humble spirit. Oh, yeah. Anybody know Jane Jackson? I call him Bro Black. Man, yeah. two sheds started that name. Bro Black. And he was faithful with everybody around through that true home and take kind of community that he come up with. And I remember when he got married, he said, I want you to come on to the house. I want you to meet my wife, Anna. Yeah, he did. <laughs> she had to feed me. Pay a place for me to sleep. Love you, Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Amen. Come on, sister. Amen. Somebody said, moving right along, moving right along. Amen. Thank you, Nita. You gonna sing one? I cannot sit back there and not say something about. My favorite uncle. First one taught me how to drive. 12 years old. Big Cadillac. <laughs> and when I went in the car, I leaned in the car with the car. He said, you can't, you don't have to do that. Not a second, or another minute, All right, girl. not an hour, another day. But as I stretch my hands out wide, I need you to make a way out of you. Done so many times before. Yeah. You've always opened many doors. I stretch. My hands to thee, Lord, help me, please. We need you right away. We need you now. We need you now. We Somebody said, Lord, we need you right away. Lord, we need you right away. Amen. I miss, did I miss Alexander? You Alexander? You got one more? One more. All right. All right. Call this morning. Call for Jamie and Glenn. 
it's rain, but I'm still out here wiping the car. You don't go no more to car there with them too. <laughs> Woo! I'm so sick of shine. You're like, oh, lean on it. Your car doesn't fit you. If your car does, that means thank you, do <laughs> Okay. So we're going to clean that side out first. Come on, inside out. And when you get all the trash up on the seat, then you're going to get the rim. Okay. So I'm out here up on the seat, getting the rim. I believe in Danny and mess me up. Come on, come on, I still got to leave out clean if I come back dirty. <laughs> and uh, when George was little, Jamie yeah. paid for the kiss. She, she, you want to act back, Jamie? Y'all, he just watch his name. She go and kiss. Yeah. <laughs> he know he had a limp. He tried to kiss him when I'm in Jay Clamp. <laughs> <laughs> she gone. He still trying to kiss him. <laughs> well, I, I was just thinking about a good time. I said, yeah. then the best part, the ending of your life. It ain't how you start, it's how you end. Right. Hey, hey! Woo! Hey! Good evening. You know, I started out rough. You know what? Oh. Right. Uh, you know what? Jump in after one of them all trying to catch me. She <laughs> said, I might not see but Jesus got you. You know, she always said, Lord, I in every place. When she said that, I said, Jesus. Then I tried to pull up. Trying to do something else. She said, in every place. You see me now, you see me now, you know. Because in the playground family, you know, we a close family. We don't bend and call every day. Y'all know that. We drive the pie to house. But anyway, when trouble comes, we come together. We all pray together. Amen. Somebody said praise the Lord. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord another hand of praise in here. I believe Jane would be proud and happy. Amen. Just to know that we are smiling and reflecting on his life as, as we are. Amen. 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 Anybody else? Amen. If not, I got one. Then I'm, we're going to move on to uh, Sister Jacinda Gray. Is she here? Oh, yeah, one second. Is uh, Sister Angela here? Hey, Angela. Hey, Angela. Amen. I got one. Then we'll go to the acknowledgments. And then Sister Angela Northern's going to come and give a musical selection. And then Brother David Jackson from the Victoria Church of Christ in Bahia, Mississippi is going to come to do the eulogy. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. I got one. I got one on, on this about James. Uh, I thought I knew what a limousine was. <laughs> Amen. We were off, uh, I think we were with Ruby in Atlantic City, and a limousine pulled up to pick us up. Amen. I heard Rosita say he kept her in line. He kept me in line too. But when the limousine pulled up, blew my mind. James had a way with words. And then that voice. He said, hey man, they're going to stretch y'all. <laughs> Come on, sister. Just say that. All I can say is amen. When somebody runs their course and finishes the race the way yeah. Mr. Jackson did, all I can say is amen. Um, I have so many fond memories of Mr. Jackson. Um, Natalie has been my dearest friend since the third grade, and I've spent a lot of time at the Jackson household with Marika and Natalie getting in and out of trouble. And Mr. Jackson, as you said, was just so cool and so patient and so loving, and the words of reflections today basically amplify like his infectious spirit. So on behalf of the Jackson family, I just want to read acknowledgments. Um, the family of Mr. James Jackson would like to express their deepest and sincerest appreciation for your concern, your generosity and support that has been displayed through prayer, encouraging words, visits, and other acts of kindness they will never forget your demonstration of love, for it has been a constant reminder of God's faithfulness during their time of bereavement. May God bless each and every one of you for your thoughtful things you have done on behalf of their loved one, Mr. Jackson. Thank you. Oh, yeah, come on. All right, can we 
closest friend that I have had in my life was Mr. Jackson, James Jackson, Slim. Amen. Now, uh, there's been a lot of things been said about him, but they've never said that. He was someone who had his own way of doing things. And uh, he was a strong believer in our Lord Jesus Christ. He just did things the way that he did them. You know, but whichever way he wanted to do that, he's going to figure out a way to get it done the way he liked it. So when we were together on the road and stuff like that, he always mentioned, always, I got a family. I got to make this little money and go back home to my family. So that's what I want to portray. I mean, I want to say that because it's so important that you know that he was a, a man, a principal, a family man, and he loved his people and his friends and everybody that's been around him know who he is because I could stand here all day long and talk about the things that he do that's good, but that's not going to be what uh, I should be doing. I should be, you know, just saying that He's a good man. He was a good man. He always will be a good man. In my heart, I will always love him and his family. Family, I love you too because I got to love you to connect to be with him. Okay? Thank you all so much for letting me be here with you. Thank you. Amen. Come on, Sister Nolte. Y'all give a hand as she comes. I will say this before I sing. Um, I came to Memphis, I was introduced to the Memphis music scene about 14 years ago, and the first people that I met were Mr. Solomon McDaniel and Mr. James Jackson. And I'm still here, I'm still thriving, I'm still working in the music industry because of the foundation that I had with them. From the very first moment that I met James, the way that I saw him, the way that I perceived him, was the way that I still perceive him to this day. He was never changing. He commanded respect in a way that you had no choice but to give it to him. And I love how you don't meet many people like that these days, you know? So I love him for that. Why should I feel discouraged? And why should the shadows come? And why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he. He is his own the sparrow, and I know he watches me. So I sing because I'm happy and I sing because I'm free. I sing 
chapter 8 and verse number 60. It is again that we are brought together under these circumstances in transitioning. All of us one day will have to go this way. I want to say to my family, I love you very much, Dwight, Nicole, Natalie, and all of you who are the immediate family of my uncle, James Jackson. I appreciate the love and care that you have so patiently and wisely displayed during his time in life. And by all of you being here today, show that you have a love for this family. All of what has been said and what has transpired thus far has made my heart glad. And I was thinking that I contemplating, what am I going to say? I read my Bible and I study my Bible, but I let the Lord lead me. And I just want to leave this thought here with you on this day in my short time, two times and a half. All right. I want you to let that resonate in your mind two times and a half. I want you to think about the wisest man who has ever lived save Christ Jesus, which would be Solomon. Solomon was a man of extreme wisdom. As a matter of fact, he said principles concerning Proverbs and thus far and so on and so far. But he said that in all of your getting in life, you ought to get an understanding. When you go through the ecclesiastical writing of him, he set out to conduct an experiment. He had enough money to do it. He had enough mind to do it. And then he was able to make a conclusion about the entire matter when he got finished with it. Everything his eyes saw, he got. Yeah. Nothing was held back from him. But when you look in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, he said that there is a time for everything to happen under the sun. Yeah, uh, there's a time to be born. Yes, sir. There's a time to die. Right. There's a time to plant and a time to pluck up. There is a time to refrain from hugging and there's a time yeah. to embrace. Yeah. He tells us about all of these things because there is a time. Two times in a half. Now let me explain what I mean by that. You didn't ask to be born. Can I get a witness? And if you got this sense, you're not going to ask to die. Uh, but, but those two times are going to affect or have affected Many of us. Yes, right. When you look at my uncle's life, 
My uncle was a man of extreme wisdom. Quiet, spirited man. Somebody say he was a very humble man. I heard that. I never saw him in a position where he would get mad at folk. He always was a meek man. The term meekness means strength under control. He was always like that. And when you look at his life, look at my daddy. I, I, I love how much said some 20 some odd years ago I, I had to talk about him. But my daddy taught my uncle how to play the guitar. All right. And he took it to another level. My daddy taught me how to hold a light while he screwed the boat. And I took it to another level. But my uncle played a man blues music. And all music, a man, ain't bad music. If you know anything about your Bible at all, in Luke chapter 15, the Bible says that was this prodigal boy said, Daddy, give me my money. Y'all remember it? He went out and spent all that he had on writing his living. And he made his mind up, I'm going back home. I'm trying to cut this thing short. And when he was going back home, the father saw him, come on, boy, put a robe on him, put a ring on him. This is my son. He was lost, but now he's found. He was dead, but now he is alive. But there was another boy. The older son. And when the older son came near, he heard, the Bible said, music. Yeah. And dancing. Can I get a witness? And when you look at the text, y'all, I'm some folks know, well, that must have been some Holy Ghost music. Well, I come by to tell you, the Holy Ghost was not given at that time. It was music and dancing because of celebration. The one who was lost, now he's found. And when you look at life itself, life itself causes us to do things in life that we enjoy. I believe my uncle enjoyed playing the guitar. He played it good. And I ain't never saw nobody make a paycheck and pay his bills by playing the guitar. Not me. I never seen it. Drove good cars, amen. H had money in his pocket. Playing a guitar. I believe that he loved it. And he wanted to do it. And I just love this band here. Y'all playing. He would have wanted just what y'all doing right now. Can I get a witness in here? It's a time to live. But then again, we got to look at I said two times and a half. It's also a time to die. Can I get a witness? Hebrews 9 and verse number 27. The Bible said that there is an appointment day. All of us going to have to meet. Oh, y'all don't hear me now. Uh, many of you who maybe come here, I buy you up. Or maybe you drove your own car. I come by to tell you one day your ride going to come. You might not have your shoes on your feet, but your ride is going to come. You might not have your shirt on your back, but your ride going to come. And some of us are kind. We want to cancel out and say, well, I'm going to cancel my appointment this time. Because I'm going to have my dentist to do it next week. I'm going to cancel my hair appointment because I, I feel like I can go one more week. I'm going to cancel my doctor's appointment because I feel like I might can go another month. But when your ride come, I say when your ride come, when Jesus come, you might as well get ready because you're going to have to ride. And I believe my uncle was all right. I hear a lot of folks talking about it, saying this and that. My folks say, well, you know, he confessed on the deathbed, but I knew him when he was up and around. Uh, I do a lot of personal work. I go out and I go and teach people the word of God. And I tell them my name is David Jackson. And I'm from Coldwater, Mississippi. I don't mind telling them, hey man, where I'm from. But I taught a lot of folk. And I never will forget there was one meeting uh, that Brother Eddie W. Sorrell was. I said, look man, I want you to go talk to my uncle. He said, why you do that? We jumped in the car and we rode to Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, there. Eddie Sorrell preached the young Gillian of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Unc broke down tears in his face. I saw his countenance fall down. He said, David, what do I need to do? I said, you don't need to ask David, you need to ask Jesus Christ. And Mark 16, 15, and 16, go in all of the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized. Oh, I don't need y'all to go with me. I can go 
on this time myself. He that believed and is baptized shall be saved. I come out to tell you he's in good shape right now. I come out to tell you that he's all right and he's waiting up the trumpet of the Lord that shall sound and time shall be no more. He'll say to him, well done, oh well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up higher now and I'll make you ruler over many. That's two times. Time to be born, time to die, and a time for a place that you can choose. And the reason why I say I have is because I know everybody ain't going to heaven. Some folk going to heaven. Y'all might welcome my little now. And some folk going to go to hell. But you can choose what has. He ain't that good. Or you can choose what half you want to go to. I'm closing now. As Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. Or you believe in God, believe also in me. He says, in my father's house. Y'all don't hear me. He said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. He says, I go away to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. There was one in the crowd called Didymus, and he said, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth, and I am the life. He said, no man comes to the Father but by me. Ain't y'all glad it was Jesus? Hung, bled and died out on Calvary's cross. Ain't you glad that while he was on the cross he never said a mumbling word? Ain't you glad that they took him down from the cross buried him in Joseph of Arimathea's brand new tomb? I come by to tell you Jesus showed us that the box can't hold us down. He got Joseph's grave and gave it back to him in three days. And one day, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, the time shall be no more. They'll call the name of James Jackson. James will come up out of his graves. I hear Jesus say, who said? And let him go. I can see Jesus Christ telling us all, I got your back. I have taken the sting out of death. Oh, grave, where is your victory? Oh, grave, can't hold God's children back no more. I come by to tell you, he lies, he lies. Jamie Jackson, he lies. Two times and a half. What half you want? I'm closing. Revelation 7 and Revelation chapter 20 and verse 15. Whosoever name was not found written in the Lamb's book of life was cast I got to tell you the whole council y'all. Was cast into the lake of fight where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Somebody got up here a while ago and said I was a bad scound book. You ain't been no scoundrel like I'm the scoundrel. Yeah. If you've never been a scoundrel that's been a scoundrel, you look at that scoundrel. But God got a remedy for every scoundrel. No matter what a scoundrel for, God said, I died for all scoundrels. If you was a drunker, God died for you. If you was a drunker, God died for you. If you was a homeowner, God still died for you. God died that everybody can choose the right hands. <laughs> Two times <laughs> and a half. Which half would you choose? We well, ain't asked to come here. Ain't nobody gonna ask to die. But Jesus made a way that you can choose the right half. I'm gonna be obedient.
I'm going to stop. I'm, I'm going to be obedient. I'm going to stop. I want you all to know I love my family. And somebody said a while ago, we come together in trouble. I wish we stopped that stuff. Ain't no need in that. Get a hot dog together, a glass of Kool-Aid or something, man. Come together. Learn each other. I'm tired of us showing up when we got our clothes on looking good and somebody prostrated in front of us. Let's come together while we got blood running warm in our veins. Somebody ought to tell the Lord, thank you in this place. Y'all ought to tell him, thank you right now because he's still God. And he can do everything but fail. God bless you. I'm going to give the Lord a hand for the preacher. Amen. 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 I'm going to start directing to get ready and come. To give a few more instructions before we go. The intimate will be at the Donia Missionary Baptist Church Cemetery, 528 Fredonia Road in Coldwater, Mississippi. And the repast will be at Coldwater Elementary School, uh, the Gymnasium Recreation Center at 340 Peyton Road, Coldwater, Mississippi. Got it? Amen. I read it too fast. <laughs> Amen. The interment will be at Fredonia Missionary Baptist Church Cemetery at 528 Fredonia Road in Coldwater, Mississippi. Zip code 38618. Got it? Yeah. And the repast will be at Coldwater Elementary, Elementary in the gymnasium at 340 Payton Road, Coldwater, Mississippi, 38618. Somebody say amen. 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 If you ain't got it, follow somebody. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord another hand of praise for the preacher. And thank you to this family. This family, thank you so much for allowing us to come. And we are, man, man. One more time. Directors, y'all come on before I get to run in my mouth. Amen. Amen. Yep. Yeah. Can, I, can, I can I get the bass player to do something right before we go? Can you play, can you play a shuffle right quick? Shuffle. Boom. All right, all right. Give a little stand. Gracious God, we thank you again for this day. We thank you for this time. We thank you for the life of our brother James Jackson. Well, Lord God, we pray that you would continue to bless the family. Throw your arms of comfort around them. And God, we ask it now in Jesus' name. Somebody say, Amen.